Good evening, friends. Matt here from theshavingcadre.com. Welcome to my channel, uh, where I uh, talk shaving and life, and uh, sometimes I shave. <laughs> uh, in fact, uh, sometimes twice within 24 hours. So I uh, shaved late last night, now I'm shaving uh, this evening uh, before uh, we go out for our anniversary dinner. So I thought it'd be great to smell awesome uh, to go out for, uh, for our anniversary. So, uh, I chose this evening, Taylor of all Bond Street, uh, shaving stick. Um, this one, uh, I don't think this one has tallow in it, but it shaves really well. Um, then I'm going to be using Tob's sandalwood aftershave. I already used the sandalwood pre-shave oil, uh, which this is one of the only pre-shave oils I have. Stuff smells amazing. Um, really can feel it on my skin softening up. For a balm, I'm going to be using the Art of Shaving uh, Sandalwood. And my brush tonight is one of my favorite little luxury brushes, my Morris and Fendorian uh, Foreign Drain, excuse me, <laughs> Morris and Foreign Drain Blonde Badger. Uh, she's little, but she works really well. For the razor tonight, I'm going to be using my Edvard Nystrom um, 5 8 uh, it's a nice little razor. Um, I got it uh, several months back and honed it, and I've been wanting to use it badly because it shaves so well. So uh, I'm gonna get it going for tonight's shave. Now this Tobbs sandalwood shaving stick. I'm not one that uh, likes to uh, lather off of it. Um, so I like to rub it on my skin like a lot of guys do. There's a lot of people that stay away from shaving sticks, but man, they are the way to go. In fact, I have quite a few of my soaps put up in sticks. And I have a whole bunch of these uh, containers just like this saved for other soaps that I want to stick in them. That's probably plenty. I probably put too much on, but uh, I'm, I always like to stay on the side of too much than too little. And if you've never had Tob's sandalwood, a lot of people say it's not a traditional sandalwood. Obviously, it's not Mysore anymore, but um, it does have a really pleasant scent. More of a cologne, sandalwood scent to it. But it's awesome. Great strength to it too. And I also have the EDP that'll go with it as well. Now I gave my wife the option of choosing where we were going to eat tonight. And of course, I got the traditional lady woman uh, answer. I don't know. Where do you want to go? So, made it easier on her. Gave her three options. Really nice Italian restaurant. A Cajun restaurant we've never visited or a really nice fine dining restaurant in downtown. And she chose the out of the way, small, but really nice Italian place. Got our reservations here at seven o'clock or 7.30. So I've got to rush through this shave hopefully not slice myself open so that uh, we can make our reservation. So I might do a, a shorter shave than usual.
didn't have my sponge ready. So, ended up getting a haircut this afternoon, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these sideburns up here. For those of you that watched my most recent video, I shaved with a CV Halgestrand safety razor set, which is basically a uh, razor on a stick, and it shaved amazing. I'm really excited about using that again. Unfortunately though, I don't think I'm going to use it all that often because it actually requires quite a bit more maintenance than a standard straight razor does. Because um, you got to you have to manage the blade, which it's a delicate blade. which is not super easy to uh, take in and out of the, um, of the, the razor holder. So you have to strop it before, then put it inside the contraption. And then once you've, uh, shaved with it, you have to immediately take it out of there. Otherwise it will rust. Regardless, though, is really cool. All right. Dry my face. Slightly, I think I overwatered this a little bit, or overwatered it. I don't want it to get too too wet and start running down my razor. One of my pet peeves. I don't like super wet shaving soaps. Now for the weekend, don't have a whole lot planned except uh, we've got uh, her and I decided we were going to go do one of those paint paint nights together or paint afternoons together. So we're going to go paint some uh, uh, pictures.
together tomorrow afternoon. We have my mother is watching uh, my son for the night and tomorrow. So we'll have a nice evening and day together. Very, very keen edge on this. I believe this is a edge that came off of my black Arkansas with a uh, JNAT slurry provided by my buddy, Michael. Just how I like it though. Do one more quick clean out pass and I'll be done. I think we were talking, we may take the boy down to Elephant, Elephant Rocks State Park this weekend, maybe on Sunday, if the weather's not bad. Kind of wore out my soap a little bit. That's on me. Overwatered it and then uh, got a little thin. Anyway, Elephant Rock State Park, pretty cool place. It's got giant monolithic size granite boulders that you can climb on and take pictures with. And uh, It's a neat place. Great place for a little guy to run around and have a blast. Very nice shave with this edge.
Definitely can't fault the Tob sandalwood. I just overwatered it. That's on me. Oh well. It's good soap. I like it a lot. I think I'll just uh, do a width of green pass here. Alright guys, I'd say that's it. That's good enough for an anniversary shave. Wouldn't uh, want to go to an anniversary dinner with candles and all that stuff and be all scruffy and stuff. I mean, that's kind of lame. Who wants that? If it was my wife, I'd kick me out of the chair. I think she'll be happy. She really likes this sandalwood scent, so hopefully so. I feel like I got myself a little close. Right here, like I always do, but, and a little on my lips too, a little bit. Right there. Yep, normal spot right there, always. There's very few razors that I shave with where I just get absolutely perfect right there. And it has to be just absolutely a monstrous edge. Once upon a time, I did have the top Taylor of Old Bond Street um, sandalwood shaving soap with tallow. That was some nice stuff. I think they brought that back. Can't be for certain. It's a wonderful scent though. Love it. All right, I'm gonna throw in a little Thayer's Witch Hazel. Absolutely perfect BBS today. Now, if you're still with me guys for my post shave, please take a look down below and like and subscribe to my videos. Uh, I like to post videos. Sometimes I do them more frequently than others, but I enjoy doing videos uh, usually once a week and uh, it's, it's just a blast doing them. Um, tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up. Uh, there's one of the guys on the forums that puts his balm on for his aftershave. And I feel like trying that out tonight, so I'm gonna do it. Of course, the standard snot ball that comes out of the, the uh, sandalwood, the art of sa shaving sandalwood, um, kind of dries inside this little black tube here and uh, leaves you a little dollop of snot sitting inside there. But anyway, 
completely, not a completely different sandalwood scent from the Taylor of Old Bond Street, but I mean, it's definitely more powdery and uh, soft, I'd say, than the uh, the Tobbs version. There's the Tobbs aftershave. Very nice shave, guys. Should have the EDP in here. I don't know why I don't. I better go grab some of that real quick. Slap it on. This is a Christmas gift for my father this year. Luxury sandalwood cologne. Uh, it's funny. My dad, uh, he, um, he gave me the cologne, I gave him the aftershave. <laughs> so uh, we both uh, um, got a little bit of Tobbs for Christmas. The only thing I wish it had is an atomizer. I sh I'm sure I could find one to put on it. All right, guys, well, <laughs> that's my shave. Uh, thanks for stopping by and oh, Please check out the shavingcadre.com and the members that post shaving videos like Handle Barber Dave, um, Scuttle Soap, uh, Spider Shaves, Fenster Shaves, um, The Cutthroat Journey, Long Haul Tanker, uh, Bill M, Nurse Dave, uh, the list goes on. But anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by and I will shave with you later. Uh, happy anniversary to me. I'm going to get out of here. Bye-bye.